On a snowy day in December, we came to New London, sort of an artist's mecca. There are several studios and shops with creative offerings located here. We came to visit Kaleidoscope Gallery, an artist's cooperative with 10 members. Three of the artists were working the gallery when we stopped. Craig Edwards, who owns the building and his studio is right behind the gallery. Janet Olney, president of the cooperative, and David Corsbo, who was the president of the Wilmer Area Arts Council at the time we stopped. I asked them about the other artists in the cooperative. There's the three of us. Uh, Craig is a potter, Janet is a basket maker, I'm a potter, and then we have Laura Welly, who uh, is a mixed media painter. Uh, she does a number of different things. Uh, Violet Doc, who uh, also is kind of mixed media, she, uh, she does a number of different things, primarily painting, most of her things here. Sharon Schutze, who is a painter. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Carolyn Olson, who uh, is, uh, does tapestries and does quilting type, type art, uh, beautiful things. Lynn Edwards, Craig's wife. <laughs> I better not forget her. She's a high school art teacher and then she does photography and, and painting. And Gail Martin's the jewelry. She used to do um, all resin jewelry, but now she's gotten into metals. Um, that doesn't seem like old. Um, Eva Miller, but Eva, Eva doesn't have anything here right now. She's a sculptor. It's nice to be able to uh, not have to be here all the time. We have, we have 10 people, so it rotates, so I only have to be in the gallery three days a month, which is, for me, about as much as I'd like to be in, because I'm, I'm more of a maker. My real passion is wood firing. I have a 30-foot-long a uh, wood-fired kiln out about 100 yards from here, and uh, we make them in the back, and we fire them about 100 yards from here. And, and we sell them in the gallery. Um, recently, I've been working on a lot of um, wear for a tea ceremony. Um, I had a piece that was bought by the Korean government to put in one of their museums. And so uh, this is a tea bowl that was, was very similar to this. So they flew me over there to demonstrate and, and lecture this spring in April. And from there, uh, s several potters in the southern island of Kyushu in Japan invited me over to work with tea ceremony people. So that's what's been going on this year. So um, it's, it's been very encouraging. A lot of uh, tea collectors have been starting to collect my teaware. So that's, that's the direction that, that I'm headed in. I was introduced to basketry by my sister-in-law, who is a nationally known basket maker in Boston. This is what I do. I have recently started doing the gourds, too. Um, but basically, I do baskets. And this one is my own. This technique is my own creation. It's a double basket. You can see when you look inside that there's just a plain basket. And then outside, there's all this tapestry. So I weave this basket first, and then I weave this one outside it. I also started doing wall pieces. Um, this is a small wall piece. I was weaving a basket one day and I thought, why do they have to be round? Why can't I just do a flat wall piece? So when I, when I got this grant to do large works, I made a triptych. It's four feet tall. It's three pieces, four feet tall by one, feet, one foot wide. And they hang together and the tapestry runs, you know, through the, the swirls run through the whole thing. It, it's really, yeah, that's hanging in my garage too. <laughs> we 
have a, a featured artist every month uh, throughout the year, and in some instances, uh, it's somebody from outside the gallery. Uh, so uh, this month, it happens to be me, and I'm a member of the gallery. But uh, there are times when we might have somebody who is uh, uh, outside of the gallery. It's just a kind of a visiting artist. And so they'll be given this, this space uh, to uh, display their wares and uh, their paintings. And, uh, and so, uh, but it, it varies. So we all get a crack at it, I guess. Yeah. So I've been throwing for about five years. And uh, I, currently I'm throwing with, uh, out here at, uh, at Kaleidoscope uh, in, in the back area and uh, working with uh, Craig Edwards and a couple other potters. I'm still at the, the stage where I'm throwing round. Here's a, here's a pot that, uh, that I threw uh, that uh, kind of a traditional form. Uh, and uh, this is the same pot, uh, thrown the same way, uh, but just uh, with the same glaze, but uh, we're fired uh, uh, in the, together. Uh, but based on the atmosphere in the kiln, this one turned out to be quite white, and this one turned out to be quite orange. Here's another piece that uh, was, uh, was fired uh, in an electric kiln. Uh, and uh, with these pieces here, uh, I, uh, I like to use uh, a lot of color. And so I've got a number of, uh, of pieces here. In the